chapter 8, Mishnah 4. The semen of a Jew is Tame, but the semen of a non-Jew is not. The first part of the Mishnah is based on these laws. If a non-Jewish woman released the semen of a Jew, i.e. she had relations with him and then his semen emerged from her, it is Tame, because it came from a Jew. If a Jewish woman released the semen of a non-Jew, it is Tahor, because it came from a non-Jew. A Jewish woman becomes Tame through relations. If she immerses herself in a mikvah and then releases semen within the hours and days that follow, see the see previous Mishnah, she becomes Tame again. The Mishnah elaborates upon this law. If a Jewish woman had relations and thus became Tame, and she went down and immersed herself in a mikvah, but she had not cleaned out her house beforehand, i.e. she had not washed her private parts before the immersion in order to remove all traces of semen, it is as if she did not immerse herself, i.e. she is still treated as though she were Tame, because we suspect that some semen came out after her immersion. After Balkari immerses himself in a mikvah, he becomes Tame again if drops of semen that remained in his organ come out when he urinates afterward. The Mishnah cites a dispute about this law. A Balkari immersed himself but had not urinated before the immersion becomes Tame when he urinates after the immersion because we suspect that some semen remained in his organ and came out when he urinated, making him a Balkari again. However, Rabbi Yossi says, in the case of a sick man or an old man, I agree that he becomes Tame when he urinates after immersion. Since he is weak, there is indeed reason to suspect that some semen remained in his organ and it comes out when he urinates. But in the case of a young and healthy man, he remains Tahor because a young, healthy man expels semen with such force that none remains in his organ.